All right, guys, we're gonna keep this short and sweet. It is October 16th or 17th. Going back to the same spot where I guess shot opportunity Friday night, but I'm coming back with a little bit of vengeance. Went to Atwoods and bought a uh, three-man, it's like Duke and Boone or Boone and Duke hunting blind. Yeah, it's built for three people, but if, you, if you've been hunting out of a blind long enough, you know that three people, if it's fit for three people, it's actually meant for like two people max. The blind, I, I hunted out a Friday night. It was just kind of trying to make do. I don't hunt this spot very often and not very many bucks so I'm not going to waste money on a blind but got some news earlier today uh, the WMA that we hunt at down southeast it's closed next weekend so didn't go this weekend because of a wedding not going to get to go next weekend because it's closed down for a, a, a special hunt so that'll be two two weekends so I was like well I'm going to be hunting here then might as well make it worth my while. It's 3.52 right now, so in here, plenty of time. Uh, this new blind was, it was well worth it. Overlooking the pecan orchard out there. Uh, all of those are pecan trees. Got my nice corn pile right up over there. But yes, yeah, blind's nice. It has, has a little pocket right here. I'll show you over here. These little windows, these windows right here. All they do is slide. So I'm not gonna open it all the way, but they slide. It's super quiet. A lot more roomy than uh, than my old blind. I got the old HA hat with the glasses right there. Got the B3. FMJ arrow spot hog sight. Got some little rattled horns just in case. And then, uh, yeah. Got a little flavored sparkling water. I already drank that. So, uh, just sitting and waiting now.
goodness. Grim Reaper. White Tail Special. That took way too much, way too much time and effort. Goodness. What a what a cool experience! I mean, here's another very mature doe. Uh, really nice shot, actually. One of the Sucky things is I I didn't get a uh, I didn't get a full pass through on this deer. It's so confusing, but I found her. She only went about 50 yards. So that's pretty awesome. I'd like to pull the jaw on this doe. She looks very very old to me. But man, she went she went 50 yards. That's whacker and Easton puts a hurting on these deer. I'm telling you. Heavy arrow and a big expandable broadhead does does damage, but the blood shot actually wasn't that great, surprisingly. But actually, you know, we found her. 
rice out here. I'm over here, here by myself, but man, that was cool. So, uh, it's uh, late October, it's about 90 degrees still in the evening. So, I got vacation, not this week, but the next. So, I'm really hoping for a bunch of uh, cooling off. And if we can get that, I think we're going to be positioned for a really, really good early November. But, happy to take a, a dough. Not sure if I'll end up donating it in the process and processing it myself. Uh, I want to see what kind of hunters for the hungry programs they have around this uh, this area of the state. But man, that's cool. That blood trail had me worried. I had a uh, wasn't for sure if I was gonna find it or not. It's always so weird when you make a great shot and you can't find the deer very quickly. So thanks for checking out the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you're a hardcore bow hunter.